Now, the purpose of this video is to show you how to master your song in different sections based on the song parts. I have a project in front of me here with different song sections. Let's hear what it sounds like now. What a waste of time. Should have been here on the outside, read the sign. Used to call you mine Gave it my best but I don't need one more try Cause baby I'm all out of hope Could I find it when I go? Think we're only here to stay alive, stay alive now Funny we ran out of kicks Now you only make me sick Think we're only here to stay alive now Cause I So as you can tell, I created markers for each song part ahead of time. And on this track, I already have some plugins. I have the glue compressor and the limiter after it. And I want these plugins to be on the whole song, not just different sections. But the song sections, I do want to separate. So before we do this, let's check out our preferences. Control P on the PC or Command Comma on the Mac, which opens our preferences. And we'll go over here to the item fade defaults and on the split media items, make sure we turn on overlap and crossfade and set the crossfade length and shape to the setting we prefer. I have it set to equal power and 50 milliseconds, which is gonna help us when we split the items based on that song part and put them on separate tracks. And the next thing I want to do is turn on locking. Up here in the toolbar, this will allow us to move our items up and down, but not left and right. So we can't accidentally change the timing of our items. Then I'm going to go over here to the lower left corner to this folder button and click it. Now, if I drag any items below here, they're going to be put in a folder. This way all the song parts will be routed to this track as a folder track, still getting this compressor and this limiter. As again, I wanna put this on all the parts. So let's make the size of this track a bit smaller and then drag the audio file down like this and let go. And notice not only is it on a new track, this track is a child track with this track being the parent. So all the audio on this track is flowing through or routed through to this track, as you can see right here. So now we could treat this file differently or add different effects to it. So let's name this track verse. So we could use it as the verse, we'll go to the effects on this track and just add effects we want for the verse. I'm going to add a compressor. I'll use 1175. And I'm also going to add an EQ. We'll use re -EQ. And again, we're going to set this up for the verse. Start with the compressor. What a waste of time. Should have been here on the outside, read the signs. Then we'll go to the EQ. Maybe adjust the top end and the mids. Let's say we're happy with this for the verse. So now I'm going to split this based on the pre chorus by zooming in really close and just hit the S key to split this item. Notice it created a crossfade based on the size we set up in the preferences. So now we could drag this piece down, which will create another track. 
like this. And now this file fades out while this file fades in and it'll sound perfect. So let's put the effects we started with on the verse on this track. I'll name it pre-chorus. We'll duplicate the effects by dragging it and dropping it. And let's tweak this for the pre-chorus. Now I'm noticing this part sounds a bit louder than the verse. So we can bring down the gain on the EQ as the last plugin on this track. Bring it down a bit. And let's hear how it flows from a verse to a pre chorus. Sounds good. Now we'll go over to the chorus and zoom in really close and split this item as well. Then drag this one down, name this track Chorus. Now we can tweak our chorus separately from the other sections. We'll start off with the same plugins by duplicating them by dragging and dropping them, or completely different plugins, and then tweak these for the chorus. You only make me sick, think we're only here to stay alive now. Cause I Now I'm also noticing that the chorus sounds a bit lower than the pre-chorus. So we can adjust that with the volume right here as the last plugin on this track. Let's bring it up a few dB. And let's hear that transition. Gives the chorus a bit more power as we lowered the pre chorus and raised up our chorus. So now we can just go from section to section and move our audio or items to each track. Let's zoom in on the verse, split it right here, drag this up two tracks. Now it's going to go back to the verse we set up. You can pass the play, say what you want. You got nothing on me. We won't be the same. Don't you call me up because we badly need this. Funny, we ran out of kicks. Now you only make me sick. Think we're only here to stay alive now. Cause I know what a waste, what a crime, what a time, and I should go. So I'll take what I can and I'll toss it in the car. And what's great about this method is it allows us to use the same setting for each similar song part. So what we do in verse one will automatically be the same for verse two and the same for the pre-choruses and the choruses. And of course, you can use as many tracks as you need for as many unique song parts you have. Listen from the verse. Do my best, but I don't need one more try. And again, it's going to transfer to the other verse. You can pass the play. Say what you want, you got nothing on me. We won't be the same. And the same for the pre-chorus.
So in this way, all these tracks are still flowing through or routed to our parent folder track. So we're still hearing the glue compressor. Maybe I'm not along with the rear limit limiter. It's just a more efficient way to master your song in song sections, treating each one a bit differently. So that's pretty much it. That's mastering song sections in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.